Thanks for joining me in studio. We have Kelly Schumacher from Agnuste Liturgical Arts. Thank you for joining me, Kelly. Thank you for having me. So excited to have you in studio with me for you're you're here for the whole hour, aren't you? I am sticking around, having some fun. Yes, yes, I think we'll have a good time. We always have a good time. I know. Cheer <laughs> Maybe we'll have an even better time this time. <laughs> yes, raising the bar. Uh, and also, uh, the Reverend Michael Meyer, Manager of Disaster Response for the LCMS. Thanks for joining me in studio. Yeah, you're welcome. It's my pleasure. Yeah. Uh, and uh, would you mind opening this hour with a prayer for us? Yeah, let's bow our heads. Blessed Lord, you have caused all Holy Scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may hear them. Read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that by patience and comfort of your holy word, we may attain everlasting life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. All right. So, got to get my log in front of me. Uh, Tell me, uh, both of you have been involved with KFUO um, as guests and as supporters. Uh, Tell me what, uh, what is so important about KFUO for you personally. Do you want to go first? <laughs> yeah, I can go first. You know, I, I just I love all of the programming that goes constantly d- throughout the day. Uh, I I listen to KFUO personally uh, when I'm bringing you know taking my kids to school in the morning and driving in the car, and so I get to hear a little bit of of uh, uh, what Ken Bomberger's doing at se- <laughs> uh, the seven o'clock hour and m- melting over into. Uh, 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 was sharper iron mm-hmm. uh, at, in, in the eight o'clock hour, and then also again later in the day uh, uh, with issues, etc. So mm-hmm. the syndicated program. Um, we also, you know, uh, I, I enjoy uh, sitting in here with Will Whedon during uh, the eleven o'clock hour to uh, to work through the scriptures and mm-hmm. Thy strong word. That's just really a, a wonderful blessing. And frankly, I. I, because I do a lot of travel with Synod, I interact with a lot of folks mm-hmm. who uh, don't always know what's going on in Synod, but they'll say, "Hey, I listen to KFUO." <laughs> yes. Occasionally, I, I was with the I was with the congregation in Kansas recently. I guess I, in the last year, I should say, and uh, one of the ladies in the congregation said, "Oh, I listen to KFUO all the time. I heard you on there once," and I was like, "Oh, that's nice." And I. I wanted to kind of check and test. I was like, "Oh, so what's your favorite program?" <laughs> you know, and I was expecting one of the one of the. Uh, oh, I like them all, but uh, she she rattled off three or four specific things nice. like, "Oh, issues, thy strong word, Concord matters, and and all of those." And she was like, "I love those programs." I was like, "Yes, that's a that's a true listener to be able to name off those names." So, that is fantastic. Yeah, thank you, listener in Kansas. Yes. <laughs> uh, Kelly, yes. what about you? You've been on sure. a lot, too. And you're I one have of our been supporters, on too. What? You're one of our supporters, too. I am. I yeah. am. My mom and my mom helps out with that. So, um, <laughs> Thank you, Mom. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Shout out. Um, I think this is really terrible. I used to listen more when I would drive more. Oh, yeah. And so I don't listen as much when I'm at home because I typically work in, like, silence. But... Um, one thing that I always am thankful for, and I switch to KFU when I do get in my car is I do really love listening to the music whenever I would be driving to and from a teaching job or anything like that. And um, a lot of times, you know, I'll kind of bounce around stations, but then it's like, oh, yay, KFO is on. This is nice. (laughs) Uh, So I would just say is that, um, as I said, it's sad. I used to listen more when I would drive more, but um, I'm always very thankful whenever I do get in my car and turn it on because I know it's, you know, good, uplifting and very faithful. Absolutely. Um, And I love the music. You don't get music like that anywhere else. You don't. You really don't. 